Hey guys, we're at Britain's Strongest Man today, just backstage getting ready for um, the show. Just doing some kind of rehearsals really right now for um, when we go on stage at five. But, um, after that, get focused and ready to smash it. I'm John from Williamson Chiropractic and Sports Injuries Clinic here at the British Strongest Man Championships. Today just looking after Lars, make sure his body is functioning correctly and fingers crossed we don't need to do anything more on that. Help. <laughs> I know you're coming. Have a catch with me. That was great, that won't happen if there's the lights in front of him. Yeah, there. Yeah. There it comes. So we're just about an hour away from the show starting today. Um, Kickoff is at five o'clock. We have a walkout where all the athletes go to the main arena, kind of introduce ourselves to the crowd. And then the first event today is the log for reps, 150 kilo log for reps. Um, second event is going to be the frame carry. Then we've got the deadlift for reps, the axle deadlift for reps, followed by the loading event. There's five different implements that we've got to load onto the back of a pickup truck, and then finishes off with the Atlas stones. Uh, as you can see, like people are just kind of messing around in the background right now. Paul Smith over there, a few other guys. Just kind of everyone just chilling out really before we get serious in about an hour's time. But the first event's a log today. Uh, it's gone well in training. I've got six before in competition with this log. So if I can match that or beat it, I'll be over the moon. Don't measure them. That's a lie. No, no. I may have a what? measuring tip in my back. Because my shorts are just ripping, and they're the biggest shorts I can find. And I don't know, I just don't know what to do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to take your foot. Sorry. Of course, be like, very full with it. It's 
just that you've got your back. It looks small. It's 163 kilos. Yeah, but we used to see a new one. I know, yeah. Like, like, like Brick Brian Shaw size. 
that. I can't remember what comp it was. Yes. I think it's like what we did for us down in the, the Winter Challenge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And your hair was like all fuzzy. Oh, wow. Uh, like three, four years ago now, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, you're right. Yeah, good. Thank you. Yeah, good. Very you good. just come back from the event, <laughs> I literally, literally landed four hours ago. I've just I've had two hours sleep, but uh, I must plot out. Anyway, I just want to say good luck anyway. Cheers, so we can crack on the shit. Aaron, just want to say good luck, buddy. Have a good one. Let's start with our own British five-time champion, world's strongest man. Come on out, Eddie Hall! Ladies and gentlemen, the beast, Eddie Hall! Here he is. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, Bill Kaz! Kaz! Thank you very much for that. Pick the winner of this one? Of course, it's simple. Maggie Burr and I discussed it for quite a time today, and it's gonna be the man with the most points. Hixie! 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 Thank you. 
look at what we can do. What a lineup calling cast. You can feel it up here. The intensity is all over us. It's upon us. It's upon you guys. We're about to find out. You gotta love this. I tell you, I feel the energy, the adrenaline already. My mic's not working, neither is my mouth. <laughs> I'll be happy with six. Over the moon with seven. I've got six, I can't complain. It was um, a real good performance by the guys. So, get on with the next event now. Six equals my PB on that log. Um, just gotta move on, get on the next event. The next event's frame. Got a good chance of doing well on that, so try and recover and we crack on. Ooh.
Let's get a word with Mark. What a performance. An incredible work. You can believe it on your own. The added pressure. You just shrugged it off like we've seen you do so many times. That was outstanding. You've got to feel good. Champions response. It must make me feel good. You've been competing so many years and all of that career. The fans of the UK absolutely love you, mate. Ridiculous. Very, very long arms. Thirty-five. I got nine fifty-nine. Nine fifty-nine. So. Oh, yeah. Put the man down for you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's all I get, mate. I never. She keeps, she keeps me grounded. It's okay. But um, I would have preferred to be a bit higher in placings. Normally I am, but it's a decent run. Um, fast time. The guys are just bloody good today. So, got to get on to the next event. Deadlift now. Prepare for that. Forget about that one. It's over. Focus on the deadlift. One event at a time. Also. It was with straps, which does make it a slightly different event, doesn't it? it, makes uh, it more I, ideally, with, if you're going to do it with straps, it needs to be heavier than that. But um, it is what it is, and you can't sort of worry about it. You just got to get on with the next I one. I don't worry about anything. <laughs> she just sits there bitching about it all. <laughs> Screaming eternally. <laughs> no, it's, um, it's a great performance by all the guys. Um, I've been steady so far. Joint third, I think, on the first event. Fourth on that event. Onto the deadlift now. Just got to do one event at a time, and then when it's done, have some fun.
Okay, good lads. Thank you. 
Lord Shalane, nine repetitions. At eight, you look like you were done. But there's something in you that just sticks down. What that ninth one feel like? Now, just trying to find a way to point. I have stayed how much time was left. In ten seconds, before I have to go for it. Um, hopefully it's going to be a consistent performance. I had a goal of to ten. I'll take my... Well, I said a second ago that I think that was a huge lift rep and it's going to be a big point tonight when it comes to stones. You feeling the same way? Oh yeah, I mean, it's not just a great, great half. It's crazy. Like I've kind of said, Terry was something to look for for us. The guys now are incredible. We've so got to see him again. A tremendous performance. Let's give it up, ladies and gentlemen, for Lord Shelley. Time for recognition. Deadlift done, nine reps, pleased with that. The goal was between eight and ten, so I got nine. Um, I couldn't have done any more, the, the last one was tough. Form went to shit, it was just kind of all effort. The reps on the log, and then um, for Amy, just takes it out of you, quite a fast paced show. But pleased with my performance, really awesome by Felix and Bish on that, that was incredible. It's tough bar, it's a bit tougher than a normal deadlift because it doesn't flex at all and it felt quite low as well. But it was good, I'm pleased with that, another solid performance. Like I said at the start, I can only do my best with these guys with these events. I knew Hicksy and Bish would be hard to beat. Um, so, still fighting and like I said, the loading, anything can happen, people can make a mistake. So I'm consistently scoring well, building up. Two more events to go, hopefully good solid performance. If I can do a loading with no mistakes and stones with no mistakes, that'll be a good day and it'll build towards Worlds, which is the ultimate goal. So just try and recover now before the loading. <laughs>
Just gonna get a check in with our referee there. And the way he goes. And Smith, a good steal. Really quick with that first foul. He's got a round of ball playing from the back now, Steele. Positioning that really well and not solid at this stage. This is a test now. With the Giants track, nails that ball straight into the back of the track with ease and well positioned also. That's important. He's setting up well, stopping very quickly. And the way we go. Since then, he's been running the show. Thank <laughs> you. 
Now's not the time, Will. Now's not the time. <laughs> that well. I was actually happy with how I did on it. Yeah. You should have seen me three weeks ago. Yeah. Well, that was fun. Loading five events sucks balls. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, I'm happy enough with how it went. Um, I didn't place that high on it, but I got it done, which is better than some of the other guys. And considering three weeks ago, loading was terrible. We'll take it. I need to put some work in it for um, World's Strongest Man. But um, it can only get better. I was just um, the fourth sack particularly. My legs just kind of went. I uh, really slowed down on that. But it wasn't terrible, you know. Uh, it was an okay performance. Um, and now we've got one more event out of the stones. Feeling a bit rough. Body's taking a beating. Some of the guys are really bad now. A few guys pulled out. Um, still hanging in there. Joint third. Again, Tom Stockman's joint third day is an awesome stone lift. It's going to be tough to hold on, but um, I'm just going to focus on myself, try and put in a good solid performance. Um, I've already qualified for Worlds, so I don't need to worry about that. And um, get back to the drawing board. A few days off, and have a nice evening tonight. And then get focused for World's Strongest Man. Oh. 
coach. I did really well for we went against each other on the Suns last year. You know, I knew it would be a good battle. But uh, I see him making my stage on the court. And then I loaded him before I caught him. And then I switched on the fifth. So, you know, he, he had a great run on that. It's amazing. It's a little slope in your face as he went down the other stone. The bottom goes from you. It was exactly like last year. We were pretty much making it up to three. And then on the fourth, I just took over and I was like, yeah, I'll probably do it. Well, yeah. <laughs> a couple of years since he won it, isn't it?
So, it's Britain's strongest man over. Um, pleased with my performance, ended up fifth overall. Obviously, you know, I would have liked to be a bit higher, but I'm pleased with every event. Um, Stones was a nice finisher, I kind of had a good steady performance. These guys, you know, will get younger and better every year. Um, and it's, it's a strong man, you know, every competition's different, you get different events. Uh, I, I kind of set myself targets, I've, I've hit all of those today, so now it's on to the next comp. Just about to go and do the meet and greet, so got an hour of that. Um, but I just wanted to kind of do a quick review and um, let you guys know how it went. Um, I'll do a proper review kind of later in the week, but pleased with how it went today. Congratulations to Graham Hicks, he was absolutely brilliant today. And all the guys on the podium, Adam Bishop and Tom Stockman, awesome guys, great to see them doing well. But I will be back in the next show and I'm fighting hard for another title. Um, so it's been a week on since Britain's Strongest Man and I've had time to kind of think about how it went. I thought I'd do a little review video. I would have done this much, much sooner, but unfortunately driving home on the Sunday, I picked up a stomach bug and I've been ill for most of the week and then I was away on the weekend refereeing. So I haven't had a chance to do this. So I apologize that it's coming out a little bit later. Uh, firstly, I want to say me getting ill is no excuse for the competition. I felt absolutely fine in the show. Strength was good. I sort of, you know, when I kind of ended up in fifth place, I think I was probably a little bit disappointed to be fifth. You know, I really thought I'd, I'd end up on the podium at least. But 
like I said before the video, you have to kind of focus on your own targets and your own goals. And that's what I did on each event. Um, and I can't be really that disappointed with how I placed uh, or, or how I performed. I would have, I, I said beforehand, I would have been happy with six on the log and seven would have been, you know, I'd be over the moon with. And that's what happened. I, I ended up with six. Um, the log's a funny one for me. I, I feel with like 140 kilos or 170 kilos, I could get the same amount of reps. I'm kind of one of those athletes that, you know, at, at Worlds I did um, 10 kilos heavier and still got six reps. Um, I think it's been a few times in a row now I've, I've hit six reps on a log. So I think for me I've got to kind of look at getting a little bit more, probably working on, on kind of reps and conditioning stuff. I'm very, I'm kind of quite explosive and I, I burn out fairly quickly. So I prefer it when it's heavier competitions. They tend to suit me a little bit more. And Britain's was, not that it was light, but it was a lighter show than maybe Europe's or World's Strongest Man. And um, I, I just don't quite seem to cope as well with the, the, the higher rep. Lighter, lighter events. I prefer heavier deadlifts, heavier log events, heavier moving events. They tend to suit me better. But that's, you know, that's something I need to address for for those type of competitions. I've got to look at my training and make little adjustments there for, for those type of shows. Um, but log six reps. That was kind of what I was aiming for. Seven, I said, would have been perfect. I, I think I still had enough energy to go for the seventh. But I asked for the time. It was like five seconds left. I knew I wasn't going to get it in that time. So. I was pleased with the five, uh, sorry, the six. And last time I did six on that log, it really took it out of me for the rest of the show. Whereas this time I felt a lot fitter and I felt a lot more, you know, my, my, my back wasn't hurting me. I felt good to go straight into the next event. Next event was, what was the next event? Was it the frame carry? Um, yeah, frame carry. So we did it 50 kilos lighter than the last time I used it at Europe's Strongest Man. Um, and I was pleased again with my performance. I'd only trained for um, Farmers or Frame twice leading up to it. It's an event I'm normally pretty good at. Um, maybe should have done a few more sessions, but I, you know, I put in a decent time. Um, Adam Bishop was unbelievably quick. I would like to see all the times next to each other. I think just because Strongman's getting more um, kind of advanced now, it's, it's developing. We're kind of coming away from you know car park shows and doing these shows in the arenas. For sprint events like that, and it, that's what it was, it was 20 meters, you know, as quick as possible. I think we need to be looking at electronical timing rather than hand timing from, from judges. Um, even if you've got two lanes, one guy blowing a whistle, even when the guy blows a whistle and presses his stopwatch, there's reaction time that's going to come into it for the other guy. And... You know, I think just at the level we're at with doing these big shows and these arenas and stuff like that, I think we've got to start getting, you know, electronic timing. That that type of event, it's like a 100 meter sprint and a half a second is a big difference. I mean, I I think four or five of us went um, under 10 seconds. Um, so it'd just, be, it'd just be good to really get absolute confirmation and, and you know, confidence in the times that you're doing rather than going on hand timing. But um, again, I've got no excuses. You know, I'm, I probably sound like I'm a little bit bitter with that. I'm, I'm really not. I just feel we need to be a bit more professional. You know, the guys that beat me, fair play to them. They were quick. Um, I look forward to some rematches on the moving events with, with heavier events in the, you know, Europe's and, and Wembley and at, at World Strongest Man. Um, but again, pleased with my performance. I put in a good run um, with those frames because I used them before. If you watch my run, I kind of, hold it slightly forward and it tilts up and a lot of people kind of ask me why I do that the the main reason is because I don't want it to tip down um, on, a, on a frame or a farmer's walk if, if the implement tips down and kind of hits the ground it will dig into the ground and unfortunately Tom made that mistake he sort of seemed to have come a bit too far back when he lifted it and it went down if he didn't make that mistake I honestly think Tom could have won the competition he was that good all round um, last weekend so little little kind of technical errors there could have made a big difference for him. Um, but yeah, that's the only reason I do it. So that if it tilts, it's going to tilt up and it'll drag on the back. Whereas if it tilts forward and goes down, it'll stop you dead. Um, but it was a very quick event. Um, no real issues. Pleased with my time. Moved on to the next one, which was a deadlift. Axle deadlift. 320 kilos for reps. The axle deadlift is a little bit harder than a normal bar. You get no whip, so it's, it's a real kind of stiff bar that's got to be pulled. Um, and deadlift's been going well for me. I think my best deadlifting was back in 2014, um, just before I tore my lat. I was really strong on the deadlifts. And it's since I tore my lat, my confidence 
hasn't been back up to that level but I feel the work I've been putting in has been seeing some progress and again my target this time was between 8 to 10 um, and I got 9 so very pleased with that performance. I watched the video back, my first eight, uh, sorry, first five, six reps were really solid. Then I started to fatigue and start hitching. My technique started to fail towards the end and the ninth rep was ugly. I didn't like it watching it back. Um, but like I said to be, you know, I try and keep my form good in training now, but in competition, you just gotta do what you gotta do. Nine reps, good performance for me. Um, and again, like I said, I would prefer a heavier deadlift. Um, I tend to do better when things are heavier, uh, but, for you know once events are set you've got to get on with it and do the best that you can and i was pleased with nine reps you know it's it's a tough bar it's tough deadlift and just the standard was absolutely insane i think um hicksy got 10 um felix got 11 felix is unbelievable with a lighter deadlift for reps um you know people again you might look into this fully but i haven't lost to felix on a max deadlift for years but for reps, that guy is unbelievable. His endurance in his back is just incredible. And, you know, 52 years old and still, you know, almost winning events in big high-level competitions. The guy's a, a freak of nature. And, you know, I, I wish I had his back. It, it was awesome to see. And um, then Adam Bishop, we all knew how good he is, particularly for reps as well. Uh, real efficient technique. Beautiful performance on the deadlift. Really deserved the win. I think he got 12 for the win. Um, that's really impressive. I, I think, you know... Maybe I could do 10, that, and, and that was, you know, maybe. I, I was pleased with nine. So, yeah, really solid performance by those guys. Um, then we moved on to the event I was dreading the most, which was the loading. Um, I'm always good at speed events, so anything to do with moving, I'm good with. But I'm not so good at endurance events, and we had five implements to, to load. And I only started training loading three weeks before. I've been trying to work on bring my strength up um, for World's Strongest Man later in the year and now I'll start kind of working my conditioning and fitness. But my first session on loading, me and my brother who helps me with my coaching kind of looked at each other and were like, this is not good. <laughs> it was terrible. I didn't even post up anything that I did on loading and training because it was that bad. But it got better each time. I, I made sure I did it twice a week, every week. Um, and I was working on you know, developing, like working more on distance, working more on kind of working the um, endurance side of things, really. I, I move relatively well, but um, it's getting towards those last few implements, that's when I tend to fade, and then suddenly my hamstrings start cramping up and I'm leaning back. But um, when I kind of did the event, I kind of tried to focus on my own lane. I knew Graham was by the side of me, I knew Graham's fast, he's always been good at loading. So I focused on my own lane. Um, two barrels went on absolutely fine. Third sack felt okay. Fourth sack, I started to feel it getting tight and I could feel myself physically slow down with the sack. Um, but I was just kind of thinking, just get the sack on because I knew then I'd be all right with the tire. The tire's slightly lighter than the sacks and the barrels and I knew if I could just get through that fourth sack, then I could sprint back and finish. And so what I did, I think I was only about a second behind Graham in the end. Um, and seeing how I was three weeks earlier, I'm really pleased with that because I feel now if I keep doing the fitness type of events, which I plan on doing now all the way up until Worlds, I'm hoping that this year I'll, I'll be better than I've been in the last couple of years. The last couple of years I've neglected conditioning and fitness and now I'm making it a priority in my training. I, I want to get a little bit quicker, a little bit fitter, work on those events that I used to be good at. I spent a lot of time trying to bring up my pressing and my deadlifting and you know those heavier static events that require that just time in the gym I was always quite particularly early in my career I was good at loading and I've always been good at the, the kind of moving events but I, I've got to admit I've neglected that fitness side of things over the last couple of years and it's something now that's going to be made a priority in my training so I ended up I think I was sixth on the loading um, that's off by memory I, I'd have to check I know um, a few of the guys beat me but not not that many guys beat me on it so Considering where I was three weeks before, I, I, I'll take that. Um, I think Tom won the loading. He was blisteringly quick. He's got such a great physique and he is, you know, really physically fit. And um, I honestly think if Tom can now stay focused and put on maybe another 10, 15, 20 kilos and maintain that speed and fitness, he's going to be challenging the top guys now. He's, he's Last year, we all knew Tom was good, but mentally there was kind of questions. This year, when I saw him mess up on the loading, on the um, frame carry, I really thought maybe that would affect him. 
but he kind of composed himself and came back brilliantly, just focused on the next event and, and performed absolutely brilliantly then on every single event. So I tip my hat to Tom, that was a fantastic performance and genuinely, if he didn't mess up on the frame, he had a great chance of winning. So next year, he's going to be, you know, gunning for the title and all of us are going to have to up our game. Um, the standard, the whole standard of the competition was brilliant. Um, you know, Luke Stoltman was fantastic. Bish has improved a hell of a lot since I last competed against him. I was very, very impressed with him. I knew Hicksy would be great. He's, you know, I've known Hicksy a long time and he's so strong and I knew those events would be good for him and he just didn't have a weakness. He, he was extremely strong in every event, no weak event uh, and performed brilliantly. He definitely deserved the win. But even the guys, you know, that placed behind, you know, Terry put in a good solid performance, sixth place. If it wasn't for the log, Felix, you know, he zeroed on the log, which I said before, and he was going to struggle on the log. Um, but apart from that, he performed well. Paul Smith, just getting better every time we see him. You know, the, the, the new guys, Mike from Ireland, really strong performance. Mark Steele, you know, that guy's log lifting was brilliant, and he's improving in the other areas as well. I think just he came in probably a little bit big. We were all teasing him a little bit before him. I think he was the biggest athlete. Him, or, him and myself were probably the heaviest too. But he's put on a lot of weight since I last saw him. He looked huge and his static strength was good. He probably suffered a bit more because of through the fitness side of things. Um, and obviously um, what happened to Phil was terrible. You know, uh, I, I really do feel for Phil. We had a bit of banter beforehand and, and that's strong, man. You know, most of us get on really well. We just have a bit of fun and kind of tease each other. And obviously we all want to win. That's just competition. But to see an injury like that is, is horrific. Um, I've had my fair share of injuries and mentally is the, the coming back from the mentally is the hardest thing. Um, and I really hope he can come back. He, my advice to him would be to take his time, make sure he focuses on rehab before he even worries about competing. Uh, one of the mistakes you can make is to try and come back too quickly. And I've made that mistake before and it normally just leads to another injury. So if I can say one thing to Phil, it's like, you know, rest up, mate. You, you've got loads more in the tank to come. You're still young enough. But spend a good year getting that, that leg fixed and then think about competing the following year and just getting yourself back into it. But I know we'll see you back and I want to have some more banter and you know I want to beat you in the comp fair and square without you getting injured. So get yourself sorted and um, you know we'll look forward to competing with you soon. The last event was the Atlas Stones. Uh, go on off a tangent, that's just me. Um, last event was the Atlas Stones. I was joint third going into the Stones with Tom Stoltman. That's not a guy you want to be joint third going into the stones with. He is extremely good at out the stones. And to be honest, I looked at the scores and I decided that I wanted to just do a safe run. I knew I couldn't win the competition, by the way. So for me, fourth, fifth, third, it's all the same. I'm going there to, 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 to win, really. So, um, you know, I, I, I wanted to make sure I didn't make any silly mistakes, use it as a good practice for stone runs coming up later in the year. And stone is an event I've improved on. I, I did a nice safe run. Um, Tom was blisteringly quick. I think he did the faster time in 18 seconds. I think I ended up fourth on the stones, fourth or fifth, something like that. Um, I do believe I can go quicker, but I just didn't want to make a mistake. Because um, if you make a mistake, then there's a chance for the guys, you know, further behind to, to try and catch up. So I just wanted to put in a good run, put all five up, finish strong and, and kind of, you know, feel proud that I've competed in front of a big crowd again because last year I didn't get to compete in any of the arena shows um, and this year I'm making them my priority. I really enjoy competing in front of big, knowledgeable strongman fans. I actually don't enjoy going to Worlds just competing in front of a few people that are like, oh, who are these big freaks? I love the arena shows where we've got genuine strongman fans supporting us, you know, cheering us on and, and for me that's what it's all about. Um, so now I've had a week off. I, I was ill for a few days. I was absolutely like, I, I didn't eat for four days. Um, after from Sunday driving home, I couldn't eat. <laughs> it was disgusting, but I'm feeling better now. I've, I've um, worked this weekend. I was in London refereeing London's Strongest Man, which was a great event. But now today I'm getting back in the gym and my focus is on Europe's and World Strongest Man. So I've got Europe's Strongest Man on the 6th of April. Um, you can get tickets for that. Click the link below. Um, and then World Strongest Man, I'm not 100% sure on the date yet, but I've heard rumors. I'm not gonna say anything yet because I just wanna kinda get it confirmed, but as soon as I know, I will post up and let you guys know. Um, 
and I've just found out the events for Europe so I'm going to do a quick video on that just to, to announce those as well but um, looking forward to it. it's a little bit different um, and like I said before Britain's Strongest Man I wanted to go there and focus on doing my best and then I wanted to move on to, to Europe's Strongest Man I've got you know the year quite nicely planned I like having comps to focus on and I like to move on you know I've, I've been doing this sport for years and I don't dwell too much on how a competition goes if it goes good or bad you want to sit down, reflect on it, learn from any mistakes that you made, uh, and then move forward. And that's what I intend to do. Um, going to knuckle down with training tonight. A um, few things that I've got to address for my next contests. But I'm looking forward to Europe's. So I hope loads of you are going to be there supporting. And um, I hope you enjoy the, the review of Britain's Strongest Man. If you've got any comments, leave them below and I'll try and get back to you.